So we're going to talk about using our graduated cylinder today. So in your drawer you'll have a, a piece of glass or it's called a graduated cylinder. It looks like this. It has markings that are on the glassware itself and, and a hunt, this, is a, this holds 100 mils and it basically is marked in one milliliter increments. So there's a little tiny line on the graduated cylinder that is one milliliter apart from the next one. Whenever we're using anything that has scaled lines on it in the lab, we always want to make sure that we read it to a tenth of the smallest division. So if my graduated cylinder is calibrated so that it has one mil increments on it, then I can read it to a tenth of that or 0.1 mils. When something's resting right on the line, then I would say if I filled it right to the top, and I got the meniscus to rest right on the line, I would say it held 100.0 milliliters. Now when you're using it, there's a couple of things you want to be careful of. So I'm going to put some blue dye in here. And I'm going to have Kate take a picture up close. Now let's say that I wanted to get exactly 100 mils of liquid in here. So when you first look at this, I want you to notice a couple things. So the meniscus is the idea that the, the top portion of the liquid is kind of sloping down just a little bit. There's a little indent to it. When we read it, we typically read the bottom of the meniscus. Now if I wanted to fill this exactly to 100 mils, first I would want to make sure it was sitting on something stable so I wouldn't hold it up in the air. It would be sitting on something stable. And then I would want to bend down so that I'm at eye level with it and I'm looking straight through it. And I know I'm looking straight through it. There's typically lines on the back of it as well. And you want those lines to line up. Now if I want to get it right to 100 mils, then what I can do is I can adjust the height using an eyedropper. So let me get some of my solution here. And then I want to add it carefully until the meniscus is sitting right on the 100 mil line. I don't want to overshoot it. I want it to be right on that line. Just a little more. And I want to be at eye level. And I want to see that the bottom of that meniscus is resting right on that line. Okay. 